What is DVT prophylaxis after surgery? Imagine waking up after surgery and knowing steps are in place to keep your blood flowing smoothly. That's what DVT prophylaxis after surgery is all about. It's a plan to prevent blood clots from forming in your deep veins, especially in your legs. These clots can be dangerous because they might travel to your lungs and cause a pulmonary embolism, which can be life-threatening. After surgery, your body's blood flow can slow down because you might be less mobile. This increases the risk of blood pooling and clotting in your veins. To prevent this, your healthcare team will recommend a combination of methods. One key approach is encouraging you to move early and often. Even simple leg movements or walking short distances can help keep blood flowing. Elevating your legs while resting also helps blood return to your heart more easily. Mechanical devices are another part of DVT prevention. Graduated compression stockings are tight, elastic socks that squeeze your legs gently, helping blood move upward. These are often used for patients at low risk or alongside other methods. Intermittent pneumatic compression devices are inflatable sleeves that rhythmically squeeze your legs, mimicking muscle contractions. These are especially helpful if you cannot take blood thinning medications due to bleeding risks. Medications are commonly prescribed to thin your blood and prevent clots. Low molecular weight heparin is a popular choice and is usually started about 12 hours before or after surgery. Unfractionated heparin, fondaparinux, and certain oral anticoagulants like rivaroxaban or apixaban are also options. For surgeries like hip or knee replacements, patients often take these medications for 10 to 14 days, sometimes up to 35 days, because the risk of clotting remains high during this period. Your doctor will assess your personal risk factors, such as age, medical history, and the type of surgery you had. High-risk patients may need more aggressive measures, including longer medication courses. For lower-risk patients, early movement and mechanical devices might be enough. In some cases, if a patient has a very high risk of blood clots and cannot take blood thinners, a special filter called an inferior vena cava filter might be placed in the large vein to catch clots before they reach the lungs. This is rare but used in specific situations. Overall, DVT prophylaxis after surgery is a mix of moving early, using mechanical devices, and sometimes taking blood thinning medicines. Following your healthcare team's advice on activity and medication can help prevent dangerous blood clots and support your recovery.